Hey guys, my name is Ryan. And my name is Miska. And welcome to Overwatch Central. So I don't want to waste any time here, straight into it. The video title, why should we expect a new hero in this month of July? Well, we go back to Blizzard's response on how many heroes they want to release this year, which is free. We had Orisa in March, which was four months ago. And we will no doubt have a hero at BlizzCon, which is in four months time. Both of which being around the start of the months that they came out in. Three heroes a year is one hero every four months. As I said, four months ago we had Orisa, four months time we have BlizzCon we are right slap bang in the middle of Blizzard's hero schedule. But that's just one of the main reasons why it looks like we'll strongly see a new hero very soon. There are a couple of other things that we are going to go over in this video, with a few clues to where we may see them, what these heroes may be. But let's also go over the rest of 2017, when we expect to see the new maps, what they may be, new events as well, and ultimately, what hero are we going to see this month? Whilst there is a lot of evidence to suggest Doomfist is our next hero, we at Overwatch Central don't necessarily feel as strongly about that idea. Idea. Whilst, yes, the latest crash logs on the PTR did have Doomfist's name on them alongside the Summer Games, I just feel that a Terry Crews reveal at BlizzCon would be a much better and more appropriate way to show off a hero that has kept the community hyped for all this time. Urissa's launch caught a lot of people by surprise and the reveal of the hero altogether was fairly lackluster to be honest. I have no doubt in my mind that Doomfist will be our favorite actor from White Chicks, but who else could be our latest hero? Well, it's worth adding that nobody expected Urissa. An Omnic quadruped that was mentioned in some leaks beforehand, but other than that, she came as a huge surprise to a lot of people and just sort of came out of nowhere. What about Hammond then? Well, other than the easter eggs surrounding the mystery animal on Horizon Lunar Colony, we've heard very little about the character and this might just be a wild goose chase, we've had this before in the community. Whilst I'm willing to accept that Hammond may be a hero we see down the line, there isn't really anything concrete to suggest that he can or will be our next hero, and I don't really want to start some sort of Hammond hype with very little to go on. I think the addition of Horizon has highlighted something else. Horizon was a map that many people speculated about including ourselves even in the closed beta with a map that we may see down the line. It really came as no surprise that Blizzard would want to take an idea of a moon map with its surrounding lore and use it for a future map that we would expect. The same would apply to Paris, even Junkertown, and so we saw Horizon as our latest 2CP map. So I want to take a similar approach to a hero that we may very well see very soon and that being Athena. She was a hero that many of us expected to see even before the likes of Anna and Sombra. Her story and personality was already implemented into the game and the animated shot, and from previous concept app we have a good idea what Athena may look like and that Blizzard planned to bring her into the game. But do bear in mind that this is incredibly old concept art. In fact, the big red guy in the background is actually Reinhardt. So yeah, heroes change all the time, don't expect Athena to necessarily look like that. And that I think Blizzard are going to take hero mechanics over potential other heroes. So if they have a really good hero idea and it doesn't really blend well with Athena at all when it comes to her character and personality, then they're not going to throw the two together. But now we've gone over heroes, let us know who you think we may see as the next hero, let us know in the comments below. I do want to quickly delve over the maps. About two weeks ago, we discussed the ideas of two maps which were datamined on the PTR, Mount Monganui and Utopia. Now, the legitimacy of these claims will always be in question as there hasn't been any other posts about it or any screenshots to highlight it. But since the initial post, we're more curious about when these maps are coming out as opposed to what they'll necessarily be. We're not going to see a new map soon, we just had Horizon two weeks ago, but before that it was Oasis in late 2016. We did a content calendar video saying that we were expecting a new map fairly soon and guess what, we did, we're pretty much spot on with a lot of this stuff. But since then Jeff Kaplan has actually jumped up and spoken about new maps on the Battle.net forums. He said that we currently have three new maps in development, all past the initial playtesting phase that are standard maps, meaning quick play and competitive. While something could always change, all three of those are looking likely for release this year. We also have three non-standard maps in development which won't go into competitive or quick play. One of the main maps is of course Horizon, meaning that we we have two more this year, let's just assume that they're going to be Monganui and Utopia. We're in July now, which means that we're going to have two more maps in the six months. One announced at BlizzCon no doubt, but coming out a little bit after, like Oasis. So the other map would very much likely see around Gamescom time, with the PTR happening late August and then it coming out in early September. So if you go to Gamescom, I would expect to see another map playable there as well. There's no confirmation of this, but I think the evidence is pretty notable. Also, the three non-standard maps have come out. These were the anniversary event maps. So don't expect maybe any more in the arcade unless Blizzard have been busy. 
And finally, when can we expect the next event? We're sort of 99% sure it'll be the Summer Games, which took place at the start of August last year. We're predicting it'll either go out the same time this year or a bit later. We say a bit later though, because Jeff Kaplan has already expressed his concern of event fatigue. That's what he said in his r slash Overwatch AMA not too long ago. So I don't feel like they'll rush this at all. And right now, around the 8th of August looks like a fairly appropriate date. I think we need to be careful about event fatigue actually. Speaking of event fatigue, I feel I feel like that's something we need to be careful with as well, or rather the Overwatch developers need to be. Part of what makes events feel so special is that they're not happening all the time, they're kind of rare. Now we're about to hit our 7th event I believe, so it's almost like an event is happening every other month. I don't think there's much room for many more events or a higher frequency of them, so naturally there shouldn't be more than this, but I also think we should really start to take our foot off the gas pedal when it comes to events, and I think the focus for year 2 needs to become what will summer games look like when it happens again, because there's a certain spirit to it, like they really miss Lucy Ball and they really want that back, so they should have that again, or maybe they want a completely different game mode for some other event and therefore Blizzard should try and reiterate that or change that enough for it to be fun again. Blizzard have already spoken about this year being about refining events and making them better rather than just adding new ones but I would never take adding a new event off the table either. For example an event like Uprising seems like something they could change massively into a completely different part of the Overwatch lore but as of right now Summer Games looks to be all but confirmed and should be expected around the same time as last year but other than that we might have to wait for Junkensteins in October to appear again. That's it for this time. Thank you very much for watching. Mostly, do let us know who you think the next hero is going to be. I really have no doubt in my mind that we're going to see them fairly soon. The best way to tell, keep an eye on Eovotch Twitter. They do like to post some sneak peeks like they did with Effie with Arisa. But let's not jump on the Doomfist hype train too much. I do feel for a PR standpoint, they'll want to get Terry Crews on stage at BlizzCon to shout about it. And they're going to try and do a Sombra introduction like they did for Sombra back in BlizzCon. So I'd be very surprised to see no real mention of this hero being Doomfist because it's a huge thing that Terry Crews which more likely than not will be Doomfist at this point I do feel will be the main thing but until next time take care we'll see you then